We have an iPhone 6S, we have a Fresnel lens, and we have Dan Rojas from Green Power Science. He's gonna show us the power of concentrated sunlight today. It's gonna be awesome. But we're gonna find out if it can slice an iPhone in half. This is very powerful lens. It can concentrate sunlight to create a focal point that is roughly 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So a block of wood like this, when you put it in the focal point, it instantly bursts into flames. You can draw with it. How long do you think it'll take of holding it on a single point for it to actually melt? So Maybe 30 seconds, that phone will be in two pieces. Really? Yeah. R I would that's be, just a guess. That, I that's would be amazed perfect. if it did that. I am really eager to find out if it will actually be cut in half. So this is a non-functional iPhone success, uh, but it looks good. Wait, you wanna see if we can burn a hole through the middle? Yeah, I think and we then, can. And then we'll go up and down a little bit and we see if we can. Look, a few clouds to deal with, but once they clear, we'll be good to go. Okay, let's do this. It's gonna be freaking epic. Let's get started. Yes. Good job. All right. All right let me okay, he was reaching for the iPhone, but I can make it shake. <laughs> yes. Are we actually gonna completely slice this iPhone into two pieces just using sunlight? Post your opinion in the top right. Here we go. Holy cow. You can see smoke coming out of the volume button oh, and the lightning port. That is awesome. Because it's roasting the internals like hardcore. It's going right through it. You know, that might be the battery too being roasted. That is so that looks cool. It's beautiful. I think we, we have a flame on the iPhone for a second there. Yeah, you can totally see the flame right there. <laughs> Some, oh, that is so cool. Whoa. Get a close up of that. You can see the burning of the LCD parts right there. Here we go. You can see the battery expanding. Oh no. We probably want to not be super close to that, huh? Oh I almost expanded your GoPro battery. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, check out that battery. It's, you can see it by the volume there, popping out. We have broken glass all over the place. I can't wait to see what else we can do to this iPhone. I think we're gonna try from the back. You said it should yeah, burn that, a lot that'll better. That'll cut it in half better. Cause okay. what's happening is the glass is acting as an insulator. Here, it's absorbing okay. it and keeping it localized so the heat's oh. transferred. So when it hits the aluminum, it's conductive. So once mm. that gives way, then it's just gonna go it's right gonna inside. Slide. Right. So, so we're gonna start at the top here and just go Apple logo turned blue, like if you look at it close up. Oh, that is so cool. So when you do that, once metal does that, then, then it gives up its reflective property, and then you can definitely. And you can do it in. Yeah. We got chunks coming out. But that's a good shot. There we go. You get it in the middle, right near the end of the tongs. Uh, how about that? Whoa. here whoa we've got the glass just completely coming apart now it, it was literally just all in flames just a moment ago it looks okay. like it was blowing black smoke out of the apple mouth yeah just shooting out maybe that was flame coming out yeah now that we've got some really cool slow motion we're just gonna try to go for like a just, just, just let it go until it's just singed in half we're waiting for the Sun to come out 
This has been like terrible. Like trying to get the sun to come out is really, really hard. It's beautiful there. It's just nonstop. Yeah, like look at that giant hole in the sky above us, but over there, it's just blocked by the sun. So the front part of the screen was fairly well destroyed pretty yes, easily. Yes. But the back is seems the aluminum seems to be super resilient to heat. Absolutely. Aluminum that thin, usually you can go through and two yeah. Like an aluminum can it doesn't even stand, it's, it just burns. It doesn't oh, there, go. there we go. Oh dang. Okay, so let's see what happens. We'll probably have a good minute of sunlight, so it looks like it's getting a little hole. You see that? It's Whoa, like, you can tell that it's molten right in that area. Oh place. man. Yeah, see the metal's still good under there. That's just sick. That's amazing. Holy s***! You okay? Yep. Hold on. Oh, buddy. Huh. Oh, f***ing hell. Darren got burnt. Oh, my God. Oh <laughs> that burns in my jeans. Jeez. <laughs> ah, that's so Ouch. funny. Are you okay? Um, you want something cold? Hold, hold it, hurt, it hurts for sure. I guess a precautionary measure when you're jumping around all these Fresnel lenses. Try not to jump in front of them. Yeah, in front of the focal point. So having them turned down is probably a wise idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that right now. Wow, look at this hole we put through it. I'm actually very impressed. But it, we made it through the initial layers of the screen. Some of the, looks like some of the motherboard. Uh, it just didn't go all the way through the aluminum. The aluminum seems to be extremely resilient I, to heat. I've gone through uh, steel that's um, 16th of an inch with that lens. And Whatever reasons, that is like very... Very resistant. Very resistant. So. And Surprisingly, 4,000 degrees, not able to and slice We even iPhone. had a, um, an area where you had you a dark spot, yeah, like right there, and it just just turned out to be set. Yeah, you can tell the metal is deformed just a little bit right here where we focused it, but even that is just nothing. Shout out to Dan Rojas from Green Power Science. It was so awesome coming out and checking out the power of concentrated sunlight. If you want to check out more awesome videos on concentrated sunlight, be looking for another video that we're doing as well as go check out Dan Rojas' channel. Freaking epic content. We'll see you next time. Brandon and Dan out. Woo!